Are, are, are we going to review the entire series? We're just going to talk about gonna, our feelings yes. of the entire series of Cradle. And I feel like this is a long time coming, right? Like how been, how many months have we discussed? It's been a year. Making <laughs> it's been a year. We've discussed for a long time making a video of why we love Cradle, yeah. you know, or why Cradle's great, or yeah. why everybody should read Cradle. I don't know what the name of the title is gonna be, but we've been talking about it for a hot minute. Hot minute. Um, Nine books are out now. Yeah. The ninth one dropped a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. Yeah. A month ago. So. Um, and we've just been like it's we touted it as one of our favorite series, right? In many and, videos. In many videos. <laughs> and so we gotta we gotta talk about today why that is, like solidify why this is one of our favorite series to read today. Yeah. First off though, I wanna um, put a hit out on my man, Daniel Green. Not a hit. Um, <laughs> uh, so he uh, he did a tier ranking video mm -hmm. and he gave Cradle like in the C range, uh -huh. or, or, or unsold, he read unsold. He's yeah. like, this is the top of the C. You know, I'm yeah. like, mm, I think it should definitely be top of the B, A, but whatever. Um, but I do say Unsold is probably the weakest of the nine books. Every book dramatically gets better. The entire scope of the body of work is just phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. Phenomenal. Um, there are our favorite books that probably get into like, what, like number five through like, was it like or four through like six? Yeah. Or probably like some yeah. of our favorite. My favorite books. Right. Yeah. Um, but I mean it's just it's a high that just almost never comes down. And I don't know. You, you, okay. Get get us going. So I got nine reasons right here why yes. you should read Cradle. The first one is they're short and sweet. So the shortest book, Soul Smith, is 275 pages. The longest book, when they're still, mm -hmm. is 506 pages. So they average about 300 pages. Yes. Yeah. 300 pages. They're easy. For bro. people like us and, and a lot of you guys who read Way of Kings, 1400 pages. Mm -hmm. If you're in a horror, you read the Stephen King joint, that's like eight, 900 pages. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we just came off of, you know, Jade books, it's like five, 600 pages. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those six to eight or even thousand page readers, a book that's like 300 that's pages. Easy. That's easy. Easy. Easy money, yeah. right? And you get a and you feel like you get a good um, resolution mm -hmm. and st complete story in each one, right. right? Right. So, so I haven't looked at your nine, but I I would want to say you mentioned like it's almost like each set is broken up in three. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a good and point. And so it's almost like the first three you may want to consider that if you know if you prefer longer books as like a single arc, yeah. like a story. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Number two. Second reason. So fantasy meets sci-fi, right? Yes. It's the best yes. book I've ever seen of having a strong fantasy element yeah. and a strong science fiction element yeah. and them kind of like being intertwined, yeah. right? And nah, like it's great. I love it. Um, nah, I think I interrupted. Go ahead. What no, go ahead. No, no. You nah, it's just, it, it, what'd you say? It's a fantasy and sci-fi, right? Yep. It's, it marries the two very well. Um, and it, it, there's like a space element, but it's like not fully there, right? You just kind of get pieces of the space element as you go throughout the nine books. Um, and the fantasy and, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Sci-fi sci elements yeah. are still very much within the book everywhere you go. Um, I can't spoil it by telling you yeah. what cool parts of the sci-fi element are there, but just know that if you enjoy sci-fi um, and if you enjoy fantasy, this is definitely one of those books you should read. Couldn't say it better myself, man. Agreed. Yeah. All right, the third system, third one is the magic system. So I give, I kind of like liken it to, um, kind of like a, it has like a tier ranking system, but it also has like an Avatar: Last Airbender like elemental system in yeah. there as well. And so like I'm someone who you know. Like like on anime, like I yeah. like the fact that you like already oh, got Super Saiyan one two three, yeah. God yeah. God Blue, yeah. you know all these things. You kind of like, know where you. You kind of know where you stand, yeah. you know, and it's, and it's and it's it's rigid, but it still has some looseness in there where yeah. you know things can overtopple. Yeah. But I like the fact that he has a, a class system yeah. that's laid out early, you know, and early and on, you continue yeah. to see it, yeah. and our characters progress through it. Progression is like I don't is that one of your, your uh, joints? No, I mean it goes with the magic. Yeah, progression is is like the growth the growth and progression are hand in hand in this book yes from book one to where some of our characters end or or are at in book nine it's like 
You're like, whoa, yeah. like yeah. almost it was like night and day. Right. It's um, it's like Dragon Ball Goku, you know, oh he did a command man way to Dragon Ball Z, he can blow up planets. Like yeah. you like you see that progression exactly. level. And you're like, man, but and it's so but it feels earned. You yeah. know, it doesn't feel cheated. It yeah. feels it feels every every book he progresses, our characters progress and it is very much earned, yeah. like he said, like everything they have to go through, all the challenges that they face, um, the practicing. Uh, you know, they don't they don't go in no hyperbolic chambers, <laughs> though though there are times where there are sci-fi thing and elements that come into play where yeah. you're like, okay, yeah. he had to hit the hyperbolic chamber yeah, real something quick. Something like that. Yeah, but yeah. it's <sighs> number four, bro. Yeah, number four. Number four. Okay. The action. Um, and so this kind of ties in with the last one. Um, so they have anime s tournaments, mm -hmm. which I, I've already just discovered myself. Like I love a good anime that has a tournament arc, yes. right? If you got a tournament arc where you know, mm -hmm. a team, b team, mm -hmm. or ten people battling out, like yeah. I'm hooked. I'm like, all right, what's going on? Name, name some of your favorite. Famous for us, so My Hero Academia Boom. tournament arc, Dragon Ball Z well, tournament arc, God of High School. We God just of High School tournament. We've seen arc. the first season, so we don't know where it's gonna go. We didn't watch the 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 webtoon. webtoon yeah so but as a first season yeah it was kind of crazy but it was still good yep um naruto you know the tournament arcs in there yeah. so I, yeah. I love some tournament yeah. arcs yeah. and you get a couple of those in these and i'm and i get giddy i'm yeah. like whoa yeah. like we finally yeah. we're gonna finally get like you can hear about this power over here you see now our characters progress and you're gonna see them battle it out you yeah. know you're gonna see how how they match up yeah. and i just i love a good tournament arc and it just that's some of the best kind of action to me, you yeah, know, is in a is. tournament. It is. Even Mortal Kombat, you know, like yeah. while you play some of those games, you want to see the tournament. You want to yeah. see how they come out. So, yeah. Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. Just, just the tournaments. They get me. So, it has those in there and I love it. So, all right. Uh, number five is is the plot, you know. So, again, like you said, without getting too spoily, it's all about progression, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you see our main character progress. And then you see, you see very him. early on, you learn what his goal is. Yes, and it's all about getting to that goal. Yep. Um, and then as we get into book nine, we start to question some of that. But very early on, you know where you're trying to end up. Yes, and that's that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And and again, you you it's all about the journey. You yeah. know, it's all about the journey. Yeah. You kind you know where the destination is, but yeah. you're having fun on the journey. Yeah. All right. Um, next point is the protagonist, um, main character, Lyndon. You know, tell him how you feel about Lyndon, Q. Gratitude. Gratitude. He, <laughs> he is, first of all, this is um, a shirt. We're both rocking real white uh, cradle shirts. Yeah. His says gratitude. Mine says the dragon advances. Mm -hmm. um, but, so, shout out to Will White. Shout out to him. Um, and his brother. And um, But the, the, the biggest thing for me about um Lyndon is that he is the nicest beast that you'll <laughs> the ever, nicest beast the That's nicest perfect. beast that you'll ever meet almost on some Goku type stuff yeah. all, all, almost, almost 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 on some Goku, Goku does a little bit more he's aloof sometimes yeah Goku like, Goku's goofy aloof and, yeah and, goofy yeah Lyndon well, is he he's smart yeah um you know he's crafty yes he um uh, is just terribly nice, like annoyingly nice. And so he'll be like whipping somebody ass and then be like, you know, apologies. Sir. Apologies. I, did, I didn't I didn't mean to and be sincere. Right? You know, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so like I mean he's just amazing. When you hear his story of how he starts an unsold, um, you're 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 hooked on to his journey off gate. Off gate. And you're you you wanna figure out where he's gonna go and how he, he gets the journey to him getting to that end goal. It's just amazing. Yeah. He's a good character. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Um, so the next point, um, so after, you know, Linda is the supporting cast. Yes. I mean, any, no, I can't tell you a good book that just has like the main character and all the supporting characters. Mm -hmm. so any great book, great series book yeah. has a, a wonderful supporting cast mm -hmm. and Cradle is not any different. Yeah. So obviously our favorite, well, my favorite, probably Q's favorite, uh, supporting character, which I was probably like the deuterogonist, De how do you say that word? Deuterotagonist? Um, the secondary character? Okay. Yer Yeren. Yeah. Yeren. So Yeren um, is a character in the book who you, you meet an unsold and she is hand in hand with Lennon in his journey. Yeah. And journey. She has her own goals. Yeah. You know, you have your boy, um, Ethan. Ethan. You know, Aurelius. yeah. You get, you know, you get Orthos, you get Dross. You get you get so many very cool characters. Yeah. 
um, that assists Lyndon in his journey. Mm -hmm. um, and and again, they have their own motivations and their own goals, yeah. and and they they kind of come together to yeah. meet those things. And, and you you see the camaraderie and the love yeah. and yeah. the growth and the friendship that develops between all these cast of yep. characters yep. as we move on. Yeah. So. Mercy, all of them. All of them. They're just there's they're a good cast of characters, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, uh, that's another reason we enjoy Cradle. Um so two more two more things. One is the author. You know, yeah. the series Will White. So Will White, he does a blog yeah. um and puts out his updates, you know, mm -hmm. again and I didn't know, you know, as I became a bigger like yeah. bigger into reading how much I would value mm -hmm author interaction or authors yeah. giving me you yeah. know feedback until i felt like i was slighted by some authors of yeah. just like what are you doing yeah. like and so and again this is not something they have to do but he's very open with what he's doing he's yeah. very open um uh, with you know his progress and also he's communication like we've had communication with him through instagram and he's been you know very very you know nice and and communicating with us yeah um and so no i i definitely appreciate will white as the author yeah. and i think he's a good person yeah because i mean we're not going to get into this review spaces <laughs> topic and yeah. all this stuff but i mean for us i mean we review books, but I consider us more fans of like we're, we're talking about things that we love, yep. um, and things that we dislike. But it's a review, but it's not not what, what they used to call them, Roper, Hubert, and Roper. Oh, Ebert. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. This yeah. ain't what this channel is. Yeah. So, um, it's it's fun to interact with those authors. Um, I don't want to be attacked by an author though. That's no. nobody wants to be attacked by anyone on the internet. So, yeah. but yeah, uh, cool, cool author. We, we'll we'll always cool dude. Yeah. So a lot of people in our comments say that I think it's on Kindle Unlimited. Like yeah. I think the first eight books or something. Yeah. Like that. So if you subscribe to Kindle and if you subscribe to um, Audio Audible, uh -huh. I think you can get all of them. All of them. Yeah. For you know for under that subscription, yeah. which is yeah. great. You know, easy way to start in. You know, you want to do Kindle for a month and you're a quick reader, you could knock these out again, like we said at Short Books. So that's another you know really dope reason to yeah. get into it. You look at his whole body of work and yeah. you understand what he's doing yeah. and we you know we're like okay cool you got us excited for book 10. Yeah. And that's something that's saying something for someone to write 9 10 books yeah. and 9 books and you'd be excited for book number 10. Exactly. Right? Like for him to keep us on the hook and keep us engaged and keep us raring to go for 2 3 4 however many more books he writes yeah. like that's that's talent right there, yeah. you know? Definitely. Definitely. So. Um and what you know, I think we're going to get 12 out of this. I think 12 is is what he's around about. For. Yeah. 12. Yes, I mean it's we got a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Um to see how he, he finishes it out. And yeah. I mean if one thing I would add is that it's a book that is written in a way that is fun. Yes. Yes. Like it's it's not trying to be at least I don't know if that's his intent, but the way it reads is not like it doesn't take itself too serious. Yeah. Like it, it's about fun. It's about this journey. It's about the characters we meet. It's about leveling up, getting stronger, progressing. What it was, uh, you know, the dragon advances, yeah. all of that. Like it's just like some of it's like hella motivational. Like whatever you're trying to do. Like if you're trying to, I don't know, be a web designer or a YouTuber, and you you have, you know, levels to it that you're trying to get through. It's just. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's one of those, so it's, it's hella cool. Yeah. Read it. Definitely read it. I mean, if you can go down to the comments, some of the people who started it, and they're like, well, I started two weeks ago, I'm on book nine now, where's ten? Like, they're, right. they're ready to they're go. They're ready to go. Um, so. It's for you if you enjoy any of the nine things that we mentioned. Personally, I think you would get something out of this this series that you would that you would like. 100% agree. Appreciate y'all stopping through the channel. If y'all made it to the end, hit us with that up arrow. You know, yeah. we're going up. Yeah. Progressing up. The dragon advances. It advances. So, we appreciate y'all.